And welcome back to Hannity. It was a scene to be remembered outside the White House yesterday when veterans and other great Americans took to the streets to protest the government shutdown and specifically the closure of the World War II memorial. Now, the people carried the barricades that were put up along the open air memorial and threw them directly in front of the president's house, proving that Americans blame none other than the president. For this decision in the shutdown, now the rally organized by Million Vet March garnered national attention, included appearances by Republican Senators Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, as well as former Governor Sarah Palin. Take a look at what they had to say. You see these barricades, and you have to ask yourself, is this any way that a commander in chief would show his respect, his gratitude to our military? This, this is yours. This belongs to you. This does not belong to the government. It belongs to the people. Let me ask a simple question. Why is the federal government spending money to erect barricades to keep veterans out of this memorial? Here with Reaction Radio Talk Show host, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall, and from Next Generation TV, Michelle Fields with us. Welcome both of you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Good to see you, Sean. Leslie, the, the government literally, it's an open air memorial. They had to hire more police than usual to keep people out than if they kept this thing open. How pathetic this is in a partial 17% government shutdown to try and inflict as much pain as possible. I would think you would sympathize with those vets that they have every right to keep that open and that this was punitive of the White House to make that decision because they have discretion here. Well, first of all, I come from a long line of veterans. My father fought in the Korean War, and uh, I, d I definitely appreciate all they've done for me to have the freedom to do what I'm doing right now. Um, I honestly, before the government shut down, Sean, it was stated that the federal monuments throughout this nation, the federal and national parks throughout this nation would be closed. The barricades, as I understand, were there to protect, whether it was the Jefferson Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the World War II Memorial, from vandals and from vandalism. You saw signs that said, this is closed. This is not spitting in the face of the veterans. Quite frankly, I think it's spitting Leslie, in the face of the veterans not, that we have 8,000 people story. at the VA out of work, they're, half they're of which are veterans. More police, Michelle Fields, yes. to guard them, to keep them closed than what the, 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 the normal amount of police that would be there to keep the thing open, which tells me likes turning off their satellite TV for, for guys out in the field that are fighting for our freedoms and shutting down commissaries and shutting down memorials and getting rid of death benefits. All of this was discretionary, and the White House made that decision, so they got the barricades, as you can see there, I think that they deserved. Your reaction? Exactly. Exactly. Look, they're spending more money trying to shut down the memorial than if they had just left it open. But what's amazing is that Obama's trying to make the shutdown as painful as possible for the American people, for the public. But when it comes to his buddies, the union reps, he's trying to make it as painless. He just gave exemptions to union bosses from being furloughed. So we are paying right now for six-figure salaries for union bosses to do all their union activity while the American people are suffering over the shutdown. And what this president is doing is he's using veterans and his political game in order to score points and he's hurting the American mm -hmm. people yeah you know Leslie one of the things I was watching the media coverage on this this weekend and there was the Tea Party has done a really good job of policing themselves over the years they clean up after themselves if people have radical signs they are asked to leave and I know the people that have organized the events and have asked people to leave in the past. So the media, rather than focusing on all of those veterans, and you can look at the pictures and see 99% veterans, they focus on one guy with a Confederate flag and one guy that says Obama should put down his Quran. Is that fair to those vets, the way the media covered that? I think it's pretty disgusting. Uh, 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 well, no question. It depends which, uh, which network you watch. However, I've got to say, guys, that I, I really don't have a lot of respect for people that break the law, whether they fought for our country or not. Wow. They're above that. They're better than that. Our veterans. And quite this frankly, the, what about, this where is, is the, the outrage? Memorial. Where this is, is the people's Michelle? memorial, Michelle, Leslie. Where you is the outrage? The outrage? Right. Where yeah. is the One outrage by Cruz and Lee? Where is the outrage by Cruz and Lee and Palin about all the disability benefits that are backlogged due to the government shutdown? Well, the 4,000 right, of 8,000 veterans sure. workers on, that are on. veterans that are out of work. That's outrage I would listen House to. House Republicans put forth a bill 
that would that would reinstate all of that that would that would fund the parks and it was the Senate Democrats who rejected it was it not no. was it not to the House Republicans no. before the bill they did this wouldn't even we wouldn't even be having this conversation there would be no government shutdown had there not been the push by Ted Cruz and the Tea Party to defund <laughs> How can Obamacare you even call this a to repeal Obamacare to do anything to Obamacare to get a win so quite frankly Ted Cruz is standing there from right, for something one, he orchestrated let, if you want me, the barricades let me, let me down, some open the government. Leslie, I'll send this to Michelle. You cannot have a government shutdown if you have a president. You, you cannot blame the Republicans when the president will not negotiate Michelle. That was his position, his yes. way or the highway. Now, you know what? Maybe the president hasn't read the Constitution, but there are certain powers that Congress has. One of them is the power of the purse. And to get over that, he's got to sit down at the negotiating table. I'll give you the yeah. last word, Michelle. He's, he says that he doesn't want to negotiate because never in American history has the debt limit been used as political leverage. But we know that's not the case. We saw with Nixon that Senator Ted Kennedy put forth and tried to attach a bill to the debt limit for campaign finance reform. We saw it under Carter. So this is not unprecedented. This is not something that's brand new that Republicans are doing. This is part of the political process. Obama just doesn't want to negotiate. It's either Obama's way or the highway. All right, guys, good to see you. Pretty disgraceful to me. Just good disgraceful. To see you. All right, and they got dumped where they belong, right on President Obama's front porch.